just Ouroboros to the end. That's a... Especially since I don't think you take damage during that, so it's like, just hide in that. That's that's a great way to have that nice little uh, final stretch there. Command, we... Not yet, Mio. So did he die properly? They're getting less and less dramatic every time they die. What? It's not over yet. There's one thing you still have to do, isn't there? Huh. And you know about that? I guess you would there have is. heard. I guess it depends on if the council would tell you, but still. Let's go back to the colony and decide our next steps from there. Cool. Let's head back to Colony Gamma. You know what you have to do, yes? Of course. I planned on it. Well, so long as we're all in agreement. It's a very different feel for this thing than it is for the... Uh, uh, Kavazian one. Here we go! They're pretty low. I guess them having a level warning zero makes sense with how they were treating us. Like, hey, welcome back. Commander, you knew from the start. Not at all. I was serious, Mio. I was ready to die to take you down. So what you mean is you were testing us? Like every single other one of them. <coughs> I, th I do think like this, like, See, out of the heroes we've seen, have any of them not been testing us? Uh. Such power can drive people mad. I needed to be sure about you. I needed to know that you hadn't fallen into the trap of being enthralled by power. That you had retained your own will. Interesting. What do you know about Ouroboros and the powers we have gained? Like, obviously you can tell, yeah, we, we got some useful tools, but how much do you know outside of power for power's sake? So that's why you had to try to kill us for real? Determining the true nature of power is a kind of power in itself. That's how I do things. You're surprisingly violent. But just one slip and you'd be... I once got to see how power can destroy a person up close. I knew a soldier who was lost in it and lost to it. I don't want to see that happen to you, nor does anyone in the colony. I think he's talking about himself based on how he uh, what he said before. It was no choice at all to put my life on the line to prevent it. I don't remember what the Praetor from 2 looked like, but obviously he's the same species. Hmm. I, I'm trying to remember what he actually looked like, though. Because I feel as though it does feel like there's some parallels to that. Almost intentional. You're right that being an Ouroboros comes with huge power, but it's full of danger, too. Yeah, but we're fine. We use it right, so... I mean, we should always step back and ask if we're using it right, right? It's easy to assume once you have power that your ability to make things happen means that you're always in the right, right? That does sound right, right? Right, guys? <laughs> Thank you. 
The reason I became an instructor was to teach people how to confront power. But there was always a niggling doubt at the back of my mind. That people are at heart stupid creatures that power makes a mockery of. Uh, that's true. <laughs> that's... Uh, cynical, but mostly true, typically. People don't typically give the birth... <laughs> give a birth a thought to considering other viewpoints beyond their own. We are lucky that we have six people and two heavily different viewpoints from two different sides of a war to force us to consider different perspectives in how we go about and approach the problem. If we were just Kavessian, if we were just Agnes, we probably wouldn't be able to, right? But if you were to ask me whether I still thought that way, I'd say no. I would say that I think people are like that, typically. Then at the same time, I also feel as though there's options to overcome it. It's more a matter of the typical person will typically be like that. So you have hope? I do. <laughs> now that I've crossed blades with you, I understand. So, the maelstrom hasn't become a raging torrent, but a clear, strong current. Commander, if that's what you think, then I'd like you to come with us. Oh. And may I ask why? I want you to see with your own eyes that your faith in us isn't misplaced. You want something from us. More than just words, right? Yes. The stream becomes the flow of life itself, bringing change and upheaval to the world. And you want me to be the one to watch over your futures. That's it, isn't it? Yes. Well, something like that. I think you serve as an excellent con uh, viewpoint that's willing to speak up if things aren't in... If things aren't going in a way that you feel is proper, and I feel you're a good dissenting voice to have, I think you'd be excellent as a person to join the entourage. Permanently, really, even. But he'll be a temporary one like the others, I'm sure. Okay, then. I'll do it. I accept the job. But what have those of you from Kevas to say on this matter? Yes, of course. The more the merrier. Especially if they're as strong as you. Fine by me. Assuming we never have to fight it out like this again. Well, that all depends on how well you train, doesn't it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was only joking. <laughs> ah. Before I forget, Mio, I'd like to ask you a favor in return for this. Anything. Thank you. I'll run through the particulars later. Oh, wait. I actually know a very good place for talking. It's just... Yeah, yeah, I think I'll pass on that part. Little jokester, isn't he? <laughs> Interesting. This is one of the few ones that actually felt like, uh... He's, like, conceptually, he's supposed to be along with us as, like, a permanent part of the entourage. I'm not much, I assume Mio I gets it. You however possible. It's clearly... They clearly feature who's ever getting it, most notably in these quests. And there's usually the most heavy emotional connection between them. Interesting. Uh, it's both healing and offensive options. Aims to keep allies healed. During a combo with an arc that uses armor veiled. You sound pretty serious. Mm -hmm. You said you wanted to talk. That's correct. Let's discuss our next steps. Sorry, I'm being. I'm being a curious, curious person who doesn't recognize any of these. Well, that one might. <coughs> That's an interesting choice. I wonder if, uh, Cloudy makes that at some point, maybe. Okay, well. 
that probably makes for a good time to uh, end it for the day, since I've been recording over three hours again. That does seem to be my rate, where it's just like at that point, it's like, okay, I'm good. So, I think I'll leave it there, and I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone. And hello, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Been a little bit since I played last, but I will note, this is getting long enough in this chapter that I might just cut it off and do editing for the chapter alone. We'll see how much longer it takes to get through it. I'm not saying that that's a good or bad thing, just, you know, not what I expected. And uh, I imagine there are probably quests around here, so let's go and exploring and stuff. <gasps> I found one. I finally found one. Camille managed to save Kairi just as she was attacked by a bunch of Kvesi soldiers. No big surprise there. She's powerful, stylish uh, kind. She's just about perfect in every single way. Oh, how nice. Rome. Uh oh, that's an interest. That is an interesting topic. Oh, his requests. I forgot about that. Where should that. I start? But yeah, we could probably do that. Wonder if we become more like Ethel. What's that about Ethel? I mean, like we saved Kyrie from the hands of the enemy earlier, yeah. That's kind of like when Ethel saved us way back when. Huh. Yeah, she did do that. Haven't thought about that in a while. And this time we were the rescuers. It's kind of an, uh, it's kind of emotional to think about. Oh, but remember, she took us uh, on Eleveness that day. She took on Eleveness that day all by her own spank uh, sparking self. That was her third term. Uh, yeah, she did do that. I guess if it were easy to be Ethel, everyone would be doing it. That is interesting that she was that good at that point. But that was her third term. She looks like the same size. But did she, was she supposed to look younger in that? Is she the same term as us? I, I, I remember her not looking like a kid. And it's very clear, like, these are, like, people that are, like, basically go through their adolescence and their 10th year is like, it's like 10 through 20 or something like that in terms of their age. I heard rumors, but they seem, uh, but it seems they were, if anything, vastly understated. What a formidable warrior. Oh, thinking about trying to match Ethel makes me feel less confident than ever. I mean, still work hard to become someone that, uh, uh someone else might want to emulate. How about that? That's fair. I do like the little, just, talks that they have. I, I think that's a nice touch. Let's lay out the facts. So, Teach, what's this favor you want to ask? Okay, just gonna come out and say it. I wanna know if you consider teaching the newbies in Colony Gamma. Sure. Instructional capacity, or... Flame clock was broken by your hands, or Boros, but the conflict between Kevis and Agnes continues. If things get more violent, then my newbies are going to need to be proficient in battle if they're going to survive. And you want us Kavesi crew to teach them what we know? Yes, that's why I asked you. The training will be all the more meaningful, coming from you. So then there's an extra dimension on this. Yes, if you teach them, you become the model for them to emulate. Oh, what were we just talking about? You want them to emulate us? Kavesi is supposed to be our implacable enemy, living only to bring Agnes down. But if you overturn those biases, come to an understanding among yourselves. So I, I want them to take use their role models and shake up their ideas about finding your own path instead of following the war as your pre-written destiny. So you want them to relax their aggression and wariness towards Keves. Having such strong feelings with nowhere to vent them is going to eventually drive people to fight over nothing. Yeah, that sounds like the real world. <laughs> I think it's vital to teach them this to keep them away from war. Understand? Well, in that case, we'll only be happy to- we'll only be too happy to help out. Gotta say, this is my first ever teaching job. Where should we start? Yeah... Don't worry about that. I'll support you through the beginner program. First, I'll post the news that you've been made teachers along with your personal histories on the colony, <laughs> colony bulletin board. Our personal histories. Based on the bulletin board boasting, the soldiers will decide who they want to learn from. An unusual method? Letting the students choose the teacher, eh? Right, this method emphasizes their independence, which is the whole point of this, right? But if you do it this way, surely everyone will just choose Mio. 
Ah, not at all. The new recruits are genuinely curious about all of you. And then everyone ends up choosing Mio anyways. Guess we'll find out. Let's give it a go. I've never taught either, but I'll do my best not to let you down. You know, I believe it coming from you. Thanks so much for helping me out with this. Now go out there and lead those newbies to a new future. I, you know, from a pure, like, just, like, philosophical point of view, I really like this guy. I'm really curious. I'm trying to remember what, what's his face, the, the guy from Xenoblade 2, like, what he looked like, and if there's, like, any intentional parallels outside of the race. Hmm. Either way, this sounds like a fun right, quest, everyone. so. Yeah. Time to head out. Yeah, let's get to it. Bulletin board. Check teaching. Oh, is this like, uh... Live combat training. Senna and Yuni. Okay. Students. Team Foots. Foots, Nagamo, Yusora. Okay. Can't Interesting. This is way... This, so this... Th so this isn't just a, uh... So this is going to be something that builds up over time. Interesting. So this is probably going to end up being our base for making a proper, like, new civilization then. If we're actively teaching people to, like, think in a different way and approach the world in a different way. Tyon. Ooh. Zakir, Mina, Shun. Got it. Acknowledged. You need a teaching assignment to come in for us? Yeah, looks like it. Although I'm shocked they even wanted me. You're a lot easier to approach than Mio lands. Even in Colony 9, all the youngins loved you. Hate to say it, but you're just a surprisingly caring person. To ashes with your surprisingly. <laughs> so what idiots have asked for us? Uh, insert people. The, the guy whose name Foots. They're strong team skilled in battle, mainly attackers and defenders. They enjoy fighting a bit too much, but they're pretty exceptional soldiers. Their captain foots in particular. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. A bunch of hot-blooded newbies. Don't take them lightly, Yuni. Especially foots. He's super rude. <laughs> Especially to me. I have no idea why. Is that why he, like, requested you? Oops. <laughs> Sounds like they don't take you seriously. Sounds to me like we've got ourselves a prime opportunity. We can knock this attitude out of their heads while we whip them into shape. I don't think whipping is called for. <gasps> but if we got a sword whip? Mm. We don't have a sword whip yet, and that is the biggest downside to this game at the moment, I gotta be honest. We just need to show them we're on a totally different level to them. That'll keep them from mouthing off, yeah? Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Then let's whip them good. <laughs> then it's settled. Looks like we've got some rookies to teach. Oh yeah, we gotta do what we gotta do. Um, you know these are just new recruits you're talking about, right? Don't break them. What what is truly breaking a person? Let's lay out the facts. It's all it's, it's all relative, right? <laughs> so, Noah, did anybody request you as a teacher? Nope, they're probably a bit wary of us. No surprises there, huh? Still, it's kind of depressing. Noah, a word? What? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, go on. They asked if I teach too, but I'm not confident to do it alone. I'd appreciate your help if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, no problem. I'll do whatever I can. Go on. I'll give you a hand too, mate. That's okay. No is all I need. <laughs> oh, come on. The more the merrier, am I right? So, this was teaching, like, theoretical stuff, right? I only be teaching theory, so... You know what I'm getting at? Ah, <laughs> uh, gotcha. Yeah... <laughs> Hey, what are you getting at? Are you calling me stupid? I didn't say that, but... Do you even want to be involved in that? Yeah. Well, if I was there, Noah wouldn't get his time to shine, so... Out of the pure goodness of my heart, I'll let him have this one. Knock him dead, Noah. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. It's yourself ready, and I'll see you in the colony square, if that's okay. Yeah, sounds good. See you there, Tyne. Cool, cool, cool. Sounds fun. I, I'm legitimately most interested in that because I'm curious Let's what they're out. going to discuss. Theoretical tactical stuff? Uh, theoretical science stuff? Would be the most interesting thing to me, but I wouldn't expect it at least. Wow, she finally shown up. Looks that way. 
Can you both just not? Sorry, Santa. These guys are raised by, raised by Ferris's. Oh, um, no need to apologize, uh, Isora. Right, Santa's the one who made us wait, after all. That she did. Okay, that's enough. Looks like someone's in need of a little discipline, right, Senna? <laughs> right, yes, exactly. And no time like the present, eh, loves? Mock battle time. Time for some hard weightlifting. Wait, what? Um. Hey, what happened to whipping them good? Mock battle's the best whip there is. It, is it, though? This is totally weightlifting's time to shine. You want to pump iron? So what, we just sit this one out? We can do it with them, right? We gotta show them we're on a different level. That ain't what I had in mind. Guys, don't fight. Y'all want to do some strength training, right? Everyone wants to get strong. Yeah, no, mock that old is. I'm gonna teach you runs to fight. This feels like they might have just made their request on the basis of, let's just see what happens. Mock battle sounds fine. Wait just a second. Did you just shoot sure at me? You must have imagined it. All in your head. See, strength is, uh... I strength train every day. Honestly, I just want to prove myself against you. Take on a real live Kvesi soldier. What he said. I... I wouldn't put it like that, but I think it would be good experience. Oh man, you too, Yusora. Majority has spoken. These little scamps are all full of beans, so a good mock battle is perfect to wear them out. Wow, looks like the Fessy understands us better than even the illustrious Senna does. So, let's show her how tough we are. We'll be waiting for you on the training ground. Don't run away in terror, yeah? And quip yapping and get yourselves ready. Ah, oh, they don't respect me at all. Uh, so, question. Hey, teach. Are these lessons of yours really that tough? If you need some guidance, you are always welcome. Uh, training ground. So is it just going to be those two? Should I set them up for that? With that in mind? It's good to keep a record. Because what do I even have them on at the moment? No healing. Or do you want to fight all six of us? Because it doesn't seem like they'd want to fight all six of us. Or they have six people. Maybe that is the idea. Nope, we're good. Let's kick their ass. Don't try any funny business like letting us win or whatever. Oh, you want to see my crowd control? Oh, you'll love my crowd control. Don't wear your pretty little head about that. You'll regret taking me on. Look at that, she gets it. Let's begin. Yeah. They weren't particularly close. The amount of crowd control Ouroboros gives the forms is just ridiculous, I gotta be honest. I, I've emphasized that before, but my fucking goodness, the crowd control that can give on, like, like an actual group of enemies where they're not all just like uh <laughs> resistant to everything ow they're too strong <laughs> i love it this this is the exact thing i wanted oh you look like you want to go another round that's right not gonna let you take your win and go it's all kicking off now bring it oh just those four then this time I think I'm going to give it to the end of the chapter before deciding to try to increase the uh, difficulty. I think that's just where I am with that. I think that would be a good place to reevaluate where where I am in terms of how difficult the game is, because it is getting easier. It is a hundred percent getting easier. Need a break? I can't. Isor, Isor, are you okay? Isor, ah, uh, uh, oh, he'll shout my eardrums. Watch, Isor, I will avenge you. Oh god, they're they're playing war. They're not even actually. Oh my goodness, is he still going? Does he scare you? Bad hat for someone your term. Hey, you can't say that. One more round. Not gonna you off, right? 
Oh yeah, I'll be you black and blue. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to beat some fucking sense in these idiots. Ah, da, 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 da. ah, snuff you! <laughs> We're in trouble, Nagamo. They're amazing. But to Nagamo were giving everything they had, but they this lot are in a different league. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the intention. Ah, uh, you lot ain't so bad, and you've got nerve. Yeah, we do. But I can't stand it. You still look so fresh. You look so fresh, Miss Uni. <laughs> I mean, he's just saying you look young, right? <laughs> Feel free to challenge me anytime, though. As long as you don't mind losing. That is an interesting thought. Uh, the woman of this world don't grow up with the insecurity of, like, growing old and losing their beauty and that sort of stuff. That's not, like, a big cultural thing because nobody does it, right? It's a very interesting thought process. Some big talk. In that case, I'm happy to keep challenging you. I look forward to seeing your face when we beat you. Sound good to you, Miss Uni? Huh. Miss Uni? Oh, and Senna, you better be ready too. Yeah, be prepared, Senna. Why don't I get a nice title? I assume it's like Sama or something. But I'll, uh, but I'll let it slide for today. I'm knackered. Yeah... She is getting way more disrespected than she deserved. N no, you don't get to decide when the lesson's over. This is where it really begins. Uh, what? You've shown you want to get stronger, so let's have a little strength training competition. Strength training? You know, actually, I'm done for. You, you want to beat us, don't you? Then strength training is the only way. Now you're all done warming up, you should be in tip-top condition. It has to be now. You have to train. It's the only way. Train your muscles. I, I, I... Is she serious? This is what I mean when I say you two are too cocky. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, do your best. I'll be cheering you on from here. Hey, you're gonna join in too, right? Miss Uni. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> I see some relief. I think it, I think if you know someone a bit too, like, you've known someone for a long time and that sort of stuff, it becomes quite difficult to start seeing them in a new light, right? When you have a pre-established idea of what something should be. I did think you'd be the ones who asked, uh, who would ask for me to be a teacher. What gave us away? Your name's on the board. Uh, you've always been so enthusiastic about asking me things. Well, yeah, I respect you pretty highly as a strategist. I thought you'd have some good lessons to teach, so maybe it was presumptuous of me, but yes, I put you forward for it. I'm just a little puzzled. I remember asking for this Kvesi. Oh, I, uh... uh I'm the one who asked him. It's going to assist me in teaching. So uh, today's lesson will consist of several problems you will be expected to solve. I want to gauge your understanding of basic tactics and situational awareness. No objections to your plan. But I do have a problem with that guy being involved in the teaching. I don't care. I see. And what do you two think? As a member of Captain Secure's team, I'll abide by his decision. I... I... well... I like her design. I agree with her... um... M Mina. I'm not going to go against Commander Teach on this. I just don't think I have enough information to judge whether uh, Kves is trustworthy. That's the truth. As someone who intends to be the next commander, it's kind of my job to look into these things. That would be a big job, so what's to be done now? Well, if that's your thought process on it, you are neglecting your job entirely by basically saying, no, I don't want to interact with these people. Look, how about if I answer Tyne's questions as well, then? Huh? Wait, uh, why, though? Well, you know. It's always easier to solve something like this with a straightforward contest, right? Uh, 
That makes no sense at all. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference to me, Tyon. So you're okay with this? It's at least a better way to end it than uh, each prodding at each other to test their nerve, wasting time. Better have a contest with a clear winner and loser. <laughs> Very confident of you. It suits me just fine. Whatever. Then, uh, but just don't forget we're all here to learn, okay? Let me get permission to use the board council uh, area. I'd be appreciated. We'll meet later then. Agree. Later. She seems nice. I don't know who she is, but she seems nice. Good to add more names. Shun seems like an unfortunate name, though. I would not want to be named Shun. Uh, then, shall we start with some combat-related problems? Ooh. If I get it wrong, I get it wrong. Not like some secret endings hidden behind it, right? Stack weakens the enemy. Debuffs. What happens to some enemies when they're in trouble. They get enraged. Which of these is not a benefit inflicting uh, of inflicting days? I mean... It... Oh no, that, you know, that is a benefit. Um, if it's... Fuck. That I haven't paid attention to. <laughs> um... That's the th I, I... There hasn't been a massive emphasis on the... I want to call them driver combos in this. Uh, attacks always hit... Let, let's take it one by one. That makes sense. This also makes sense. This one doesn't make sense for the concept of days, but I do have a vague memory of recovering HP as part of the end of driver combos in two. And I don't know if it's relevant here, but it's the one that makes the least sense. So, uh, Which one of these is wrong? Break top of launch, smash is right. Beguiling charms. Is there even a beguiling charms thing in this? Uh, whose role is it to attract the enemy's attention? Defenders. That's all the combat questions I've got. Let's take a quick break. Yeah. Looks like you're having some trouble. Don't let it get you down. I don't care, man. No need to worry about me. My school will show you. I'm sure. Don't look so much like you're going to skip out in the middle of a ride. Uh, in the middle of the ride. No fear. I'll see it through to the end. What's up next time? Next is questions related to situation awareness. This is vital for battle. Absolutely. No gaps in my knowledge. Maybe I'll study up just to be safe. I need to check the days thing. Okay, yes. Not generated aggro, guaranteed hit. I got that right! And I don't see. So, unless is beguiling charm a thing? I might have got that other one wrong. <sighs> Fucking end of the world if I get it wrong, right? Well, just fucking like never secret ending hitting behind this, right? How is the situational awareness? D does Agnes even have these, like, metal-based ranks? They've never- I don't think that's come up. Oh my goodness. Uh, steel, probably not. Iron or tin, right? Tin feels like it would be weaker than iron, right? Uh, it might not be, though. Uh, I know there's Danag Desert. Name of the jewel that can be mine in the Asia region. Uh, okay. Crimson Moonbloom doesn't. Oh my god. How is this general. <laughs> One sec. 
Okay, so as best as I can tell, and I tried looking up if there's any descriptions for these, basically. The best I can tell, the only one that actually... Because a moon bloom sounds like a flower, pine sounds tree-related, and a bell sounds like it might be related to being a jewel. Ah, uh, where did we fight? Everblight. I remember that. Colors of smoke from airdrops red. So, so situational awareness or whatever it was is just, are you paying attention to random little factoids? <sighs> Unfortunately, Team Zakia falls just short of a perfect score. Oh, what? Snuff this. What did he get wrong? What did he get wrong? Tell me. Noah, I have no comments. Full marks. What? Get in. Looks like I'm going to have to reconsider my opinion of you. I absolutely want you to teach uh, this stuff to them. To whom? Kyrie and Foots. They're not good at sitting quietly. They need to learn more about combat situations they can't, uh, that they can't just brute force their way out of or leave to chance. Their carelessness will tarnish Commander Teacher's good name. When it comes to Foot, since peacetime, uh, he hasn't had any respect for Commander Teach. Which is why he'll never be platoon leader. Zakir, isn't there something you should be saying before all this? Right, yeah, sorry. You're right, Mina. Noah, isn't it? Yeah. I lost this one, and I accept your victory gracefully. But if I can be frank, I just... I can't just immediately start trusting you. Captain Zakir... I was going to lie about that. I would never accept this challenge in the first place. You may feel I'm not holding up my part of the bargain, but this is just how I feel, and I won't apologize for it. You know, though, I'm actually glad you came straight out and said it. You're optimistic, aren't you? I think that what we need to do is compromise bit by bit. Whatever form that takes, whether it's playing games like this or being honest about our feelings or whatever... The important thing is that we come to know each other. And do you get my drift? Hmm. Getting to know each other. We don't mean you any harm. We just want to help. And that is the truth. I just want you to know. You know, whatever you say, it's not going to make me able uh, to be able to trust you anymore. But I do understand. This is what Commander Teach is hoping for, too, isn't it? Well, anyway, if you want to teach here, then I want you to face the students with appropriate sense of responsibility. So, keep that in mind, and you might earn my respect, too. <laughs> I will. Thank you, Zakia. As long as you understand, he is way too letting this kid be in control of the power dynamic. <laughs> He's way too willing to let him just be completely in control of the power dynamic. Of that relationship. Oh well. Okay, that's everything then. I see some relations have changed. I, I don't think I saw any option for uh, doing more than that. <laughs>